So it's been awesome uh, just being a part of Zoro's teachings and having him here. I think the greatest thing is he's not that rock star persona that's unreachable and that you can't actually glean anything from because a lot of people will come speak and, and there's an arrogance and there's an inaccessibility about it. But Zora really teaches it in a way that it's just person to person. You can pick it up and you can actually, you know, you can actually draw from that. And so it's not the experience of someone being like, oh, I made it and, and you can't have any of it. But it's really a, a freely giving of, of what he's learned and of what has been effective for him and what can help you grow. Um, on top of that, the, you know, the word says like the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And so him being able to share actual stories and actual experiences that are not just um, like a 12-step program, but actual life stories and actual things that happen have been really helpful and really encouraging to, to continue forward and to see that in our lives. So it's been great having him. Thanks a lot. The time that Zorro has been here has been so timely for me specifically, and I know for all of us. And um, I feel like he set us up for success in so many ways. It's like the humility on his life has been incredible. And one specific thing, I love how he has so many quotes from amazing people who've changed the world, like Michelangelo, Walt Disney, and Thomas Edison were a few of them. And it's just inspiring ways to like run after what you want to do and, you know, not lose faith and all that good stuff. So big thank you to Zorro. You've changed my life. I am really, really grateful for the blueprint that Zorro maps out for a successful life and a godly life. But more than that, I was really impressed with the powerful testimony of his life. Because this world definitely needs strong teaching about how to have a successful life. But more than that, I feel like people really need to hear from people who have lived it, have walked it, have been faithful to God through the worst of circumstances, and who God has taken their faithfulness and turned it into incredible blessing. So thank you, Zorro. It's been really amazing to, to hear Zorro's teaching, um, just to really believe that I and so many others have dreams that God has planted within us. And it's just been so inspiring and motivating to hear how Zorro, in a sense, went out on a limb and pursued those God-given dreams. And it just makes it seem so much more possible. And it's just been incredible to see how his teaching totally points back to God and totally points how these dreams that God's given us are not really self-serving, but they're to serve God and that it's to benefit the kingdom of God and just to serve people. So it's been amazing and great.